Hi everyone, Heather here with Best Laid Plans and I have finally got another opera inspired monthly plan with me and decorate with me. And since it is October, I wanted to do a scary opera and I thought about it long and hard what I wanted to do and I had a couple choices but I settled on Donizetti's Lucia de Lammermoor. Um, which sounds very, very Italian, but is actually <laughs> set in Scotland. So the story is actually based on a book by Sir Walter Scott called The Bride of Lammermoor. It's one of the Waverly novels. And I have read the book and I have seen the opera many, many times. And you are probably most familiar with the music from this opera because of a Luc Besson film named The Fifth Element. The, the basic story I will get into um, but if you want to skip ahead just to the part where I am like decorating and writing um, and you don't want to know spoilers about the opera I will let you know here where to skip forward to um, but as usual in these videos I talk about the opera while I start decorating and um, you can listen to a little bit of the music and hopefully learn a little bit more about it so without further ado we're gonna get started I wanted to talk about my materials really fast. This is a truly mixed media spread. Um, I'm going to be using, uh, this is the only like tartan or plaid that I had. Um, so this is the um, one I'm gonna use for that, just kind of setting the mood. Um, I also had some bridal uh, stationery, um, like scrapbook paper, and I, I'm going to be kind of taking this and making it a little bit terrifying by adding things like um, blood stains <laughs> and um, all that fun stuff. Uh, so I do have a Sharpie and one of my um, flare pens to do that with. I wish I had a red Sharpie, but this is the best thing I have, so we're gonna use it. I also pulled um, just some sheet music. This is just random sheet music um, to use for like boxes. Um, so I will be using my punch and just punching that. Uh, so I have all of that. I pulled the Let Love Grow sticker book because it is extremely dark, um, dark, dark florals. So I'm planning to use some of those. And then I did also pull uh, the Antiquarian sticker book. It's got some pieces I'm going to be using. And when I use those, I'll let you know if they're from that. I have my cutting board to go ahead and cut things to size. And then I did pull some washi tape. I have this very sort of gothic, Victorian looking spooky washi with like a cathedral and it looks like a grave or some or memorial or something um so i thought that would be very very good because there's a lot of like ghosty elements in the story as well um and then i just pulled some other like black and white and gold washi i'm not sure if i'm going to use these or where um i just wanted to kind of have these out in case i did end up using them and of course i'll have my washi cutter and my scissors so those are the main materials and in terms of like decorative stickers I've had these brides for a while and so I thought that she'd work really well for our Lucia because uh, I, I like that she is 
just look at her eyes are a little bit forlorn like she's not really there and I thought yep that's perfect for Lucia um so that's gonna be our bride our uh, our Lucy Ashton so um, I am going to go ahead and put this aside uh, because I want to go ahead and cut my paper. So I'm going to be doing that first. And once I have all my papers cut, I'm going to start doing the little accents with my, um, my bloody <laughs> colors. So I guess I need to do a little bit of a warning slash disclaimer um, for this particular episode. This is going to involve a lot of heavy um, violence and stuff. It's a tragic opera. So um, if you feel you might be triggered by anything, um, again, feel free to skip ahead. Um, but I did want to, um, to let anyone know in case there were kids listening in for this one. Our story is set in the 17th century in Scotland, and um, we are sort of brought together um, like immediately um, as the opera begins uh, to this plot of vendetta, um, a vendetta between the Ashtons and the Ravenswoods, um, and unbeknownst to at least not currently unbeknownst, but about to be beknownst to Enrico Ashton, who is the older brother and guardian of Lucia, she has fallen in love with Edgar Ravenswood, or Edgardo, um, who is the sole heir of the Ravenswood family. So we're getting a very Romeo and Juliet type of plot. So again, kind of foreshadowing some of the tragedy that comes. What um, will happen in the opera is that our lovers are torn apart. Um, there is a whole saga where um, Edgardo has to go to France. Um, there are things happening politically there. And while he's away, her brother kind of takes this as an opportunity to crush her um, spirits and trick her into believing that he has left forever and he's not coming back. Um, and then to force her to marry um, a different person. And uh, there is a real strong theme in this opera of, of abuse, especially domestic abuse, abuse of women. Um, and that is something that carries over from the novel and we we don't in the book i think get a real sense of how emotionally fragile lucy is but in the opera we get an entire act <laughs> um so uh we have this whole build up with enrico forcing her to marry um arthur bucklaw um or arturo Barclaw, um, in the opera, uh, in the opera, he's sort of just there. Um, he, he's not necessarily played up as a villain. I will say that in the book, we are very much not supposed to like Arthur Bucklaw. At least that was what I took away. So the biggest difference between the opera and the book by Walter Scott, that this is based on is actually the ending. And in the opera, we, get a much bigger view of what is happening with Lucy Ashton during what is known as the mad scene. Um, now this takes place in act three, scene two, and this is after the forced marriage, um, between Lucy and Arturo, um, Arthur Bucklaw. And this is also after in the previous act, we find out that Edgardo has come back. He had expected to come back to Lucy and to marry her and be with her. And she's already signed the marriage contract, even though it, it was by force, even though she is being forced to do something she doesn't want to do and she's being abused by her brother. Um, she uh, has already signed this marriage contract and uh, he, he curses her 
Um, he demands they return their rings to each other and makes a big scene and she's very visibly shaken by everything that's happened. Um, and so we get this moment where it goes completely quiet and suddenly, um, Raimondo, who's, um, in, with the Ashtons, he runs in and interrupts the reception essentially of this wedding to tell everyone that Lucy has gone insane. And not only that, she has She's killed her bridegroom. She's killed Arthur Bucklaw. Um, and so the biggest difference between the book and then the opera um, is that in the book, unfortunately, Arthur survives the stabbing. Um, and the, the whole incident is maybe a page of, of the novel. Um, and there's not as much consideration, I think, given to Lucy um, and her character. Whereas in the opera, we get the mad scene. We get the scene where she comes out in her bridal raiment, stained with the blood of her slain um, husband. Um, and she sings the most beautiful song where she imagines that she has seen Edgar, that it's him that she's married, um, that they are sort of living happily ever after. So I am going to be setting this piece aside. It will go over here um, just to match up with this one. But I want to uh, do some uh, illustrations and stuff on it to do our little like dripping blood effect. So I'm going to move this over here and we'll do that in a second. But now I am going to be adding some stickers from the Antiquarian Sticker Book. So these aren't Happy Planner, there are other stickers. And I am going to add this one here, which is a grave. And then a raven, um, which is fitting because um, Edgar's from the Ravenswood family and the Ashton and the Ravenswoods, um, as we mentioned, were in fact feuding. So I'm looking at these and... I think I'm going to use this one right here. It says write it down. We're going to cover that up, but I like the, the flowers. They're nice and dark. So I'm going to add this here. And then I'm going to add... our Lucia here on the top. So I'm going to check this washi out next and I think what I'm going to do is add it here and here. And I think the pattern on this is really very gothic and pretty. The music is so beautiful and it draws you in and you really feel her, her struggle and her emotion um, and what she's done out of desperation. Um, it's always one of the most powerful moments for me um, whenever I am um, just sometimes having a hard day and I need to, to unwind. Um, there's, there's just no better thing to do than listen to a good mad scene. Um, and Donizetti really is the king of the mad scene. Um, he actually was bipolar, fun fact. Um, so I feel like he could perhaps relate more to maybe women's emotional struggles. Um, he also did such a good job, in my opinion, of setting up the culture and the society that she lives in. So I just punched out some of that sheet music uh, paper with the one inch punch or the 1.5 inch punch. Um, so I will be um, using these uh, throughout to kind of fill in some of the monthly boxes and then anywhere that I need to add 
text or things on this for my planner. Um, it'll either be blank or I will use probably a red um, or other like dark colored uh, small colorful box stickers. So um, that's what these are going to be. And I want to do the blood coming down on a few of them, but not all of them. So I think what I'll do is I will just kind of sketch it first and I'm not sure if I want to use, I want it to be very thick and visible. So hopefully I'm not wasting anything, but, um, I'm not an artist. <laughs> so I'm going to go through and just kind of draw a line like, like so, and then I'm going to kind of come down and just kind of make it squiggly. I really recommend um, if you have the chance to go to a simulcast um, of this um, when it's being performed. I know that it will be part of the 2022 Met Opera. Um, I, so if that's going to be in theaters, I will like leave a link in the description box below so you can see it. Um, if you want to purchase tickets and actually go and see it yourself. I know it's a new production of it that they're doing at the Met um, and I'm pretty excited. So I think Nadine Sierra is going to play Lucia. So I, um, I really do love this opera. The music um, is very haunting, almost otherworldly. And I think that's probably why Luc Besson chose to feature um, the mad scene as part of the diva dance in The Fifth Element. Um, and I also just think that it, it's a message about what happens when um, a young woman is is not given any choice and you know there goes insane um, out of just need and desperation so I, f I feel like there's so many great themes and content to discuss with this opera um, but that really is Lucia de Lammermoor um, if you like gothic or historical opera you are going to love this one um, again I will leave a link for information about the new um, opera production at the Met in the description box but there are plenty of recordings of the mad scene and the opera itself there's a really famous sextet um, in the, the, the second act. So um, check that out if you like the music or want to learn more about the story. Um, and then you should also be able to find Bride of Lammer Moor by Walter Scott um, around. I know I've seen it online some places. Okay, I think I have where I want all of these to permanently go. So I want to go ahead and finish putting down the rest of the scrapbook paper pieces with my glue stick. And then we will move on to the rest of the stickers and washi and filling stuff in. So I, I just fast forward through all of the washi and the rest of laying everything down because it would probably have been like... A 30 minute video if I didn't. Um, but I did end up actually using the washi that I picked out. So I used this um, wider washi here on the sidebar. I used this uh, black and white. And then on these areas here, I used the gold. So now we have all of the washi in place and we have all of the blood splattered stuff in place. And I am pretty content with that. I have a few things that I've selected from the Antiquarian sticker book that I'm going to add now. Um, in addition to these two that we have here, I have these raven heads that I thought were really fun. So I'm going to add them. So another sticker I'm going to be adding is this sticker here of a skeleton and it's going to be right here under with this ring. It's going to be very Death of the Maiden. <laughs> and then I'm going to add 
our beautiful blushing bride, the other bride sticker that I have here on this side. But <laughs> we're going to make her a little scary. <laughs> so I'm going to take this black Sharpie and I'm going to just color in her eyes. And then in the flower she has in her hands, I'm going to just add some blood. So I told you it was going to get creepy. <laughs> so we have our mad Lucia here. And I quite like this actually. It's very creepy, but it works. So I am going to add some of these stickers for appointments and such um, because they're essentially box stickers. Um, and if you have the sticker book I'm talking about, it's this page here. I realize now that I didn't add some of the stickers that I wanted to add from this book, so I'm going to add those now. This is the Let Love Grow book, so I'm going to add this down here. All right, so that is all of the decoration that I wanted to add and some of the boxes. I'm going to go ahead and fill this in um, and show you the finished after the pen product and then we will be totally done. So, All right, so here is the finished product with all of my writing and everything um, in. I did decide to use all black ink except for I wrote my paydays in that red ink um, just so that they stand out this month, um, but this is it. It. This is the final monthly spread and we have all of our schedule and everything written down. I have some bigger notes lined here and I went ahead and I wrote Lucia de Lammermoor underneath our beautiful bride, um, which is what she is seeing in her head versus what's actually going on at the end of the opera. So I thought this would be a perfect, super, super, super spooky uh, final spread to do for October, um, or monthly spread, I should say, monthly spread for October. I wanted to do something scary. There were so many operas to choose from for that, and I definitely have ideas for next uh, year's October layout, but... I really like this. I think that it turned out really well and I am excited to get to um, share this opera with you. This is one of my favorite operas. Donizetti really is my favorite composer. I love Bel Canto. I love Romantic Period. Um, and even though I really love Wagnerian theater, um, as you can probably tell from my Instagram handle, uh, I have such a soft spot in my heart for Donizetti and the way that he kind of showcases what society um, does to women. Um, and I feel like Lucia de Lammermoor is, is a perfect example of this. Um, if you enjoyed this opera um, and some of the thematic elements and the music, I definitely recommend checking out his um, Tudor Queen series um, because uh, those are also fantastic. Um, but um, 
we uh, did see also um, in a previous layout that I did um, in my opera playlist, I did Lily de Demore, which is also Donizetti. So I will um, leave a card there if you like to check that out. Um, but that is really it for today. Like this video if you want to see more opera related planning content. I upload every Wednesday if you want to see um, different things like DIYs, hauls, plan with me is another decorative planning content. Um, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And I will see you all in the next one. Happy Halloween. Bye.